All right, folks, welcome to Premium Fuel Magazine. I'm Stu, and we're here in Stu's Garage. And today, I want to talk to you guys about um, a couple of Amazon longboards. If you're watching this channel for the first time, this is actually not a skate channel. This is an automotive DIY channel. However, I do have several skate reviews, and I uh, will be continuing to post skate reviews. This is actually very relevant to this channel because if you happen to ever see me at the track, whether I'm spectating, taking pictures, or driving, I'm pretty much always gonna have one of these boards with me, whether it's the electric board or the push board. So just a little bit of background about me and my riding experience. Um, I've never been really big or heavy into skateboarding. I've only had this board here for a couple of months now and um, a very amateur skater, um, doing my best to learn. But as I learn things, I like to pass on the information that I acquire to help people find the information that um, I had a difficult time figuring out. So the two boards we have today is the Magneto slot machine. This is a bamboo board. And we've got the White Wave Warrior. All right, so first up, let's talk about the White Wave board. I would take this thing for a ride and show you guys, but it's super cold and windy outside and it kind of sucks to be out there. Plus, I'm not really good at riding and filming and doing all that stuff all at once. So you guys have to look at it on the table for now. So anyways, this is my first um, push board that I ever got. Um, Knowing nothing about this board, I basically purchased it based on looks and price. Um, I think it looks really cool. I would seen a couple of long boards before in the past. And I just thought that the open wheel design here looked cool. I like the drop through trucks. I like the drop on the deck there. I just thought that it looked really cool. I didn't know what any of that stuff functionally did. I just thought it was a look and that's the look that I wanted. I really did my best to research this thing as much as I could before I actually did pull the trigger and buy it. But um, as far as like the Amazon reviews went, all I was really finding was things like, oh yeah, I got this board for my 12 year old nephew and he really loves it. No actual reviews from people who have skated the board or people that actually knew anything about longboards in general. There weren't very many good reviews on YouTube either. Uh, but the White Wave Company did have some interesting media and they seemed to be pretty legit. So buying this board was pretty much a leap of faith and um, as you'll see, I think it panned out pretty well for me. So about this board, um, it's got a hard maple deck. It's got this uh, clear, very coarse spray on grip. Um, so you can't really replace the grip tape on here, but if it wore out on you, you could potentially refresh it by getting some more spray on. Um, it looks really good and um, I don't do enough riding to really wear that thing out, so I'm not super worried about it. Um, I basically sticker bomb the underside of this thing, but it's got a really nice finish to it. And it's just a really good looking board overall. Modification wise, the first thing I did to this board as soon as I got it is I swapped out the wheels. Part of the reason I got into this is because I was watching internet videos and guys doing like really awesome slides down mountains and I really wanted to do this. So I bought the wheels that they had. I didn't know that you actually have to be like super, super, super good in order to be able to do that. And uh, so I'm not there yet, but at least I got the wheels and the wheels are not expensive. Other upgrades that I did to this board is I went ahead and I put Parrish trucks on there because um, honestly, there's nothing really to complain about on this board except for the trucks. The trucks that come on this board are uh, very stiff to turn. They, they really just don't turn well. You can't do any kind of carving on them. Honestly, I think the trucks that come on this board are probably suited for downhill stuff more and um, it's just not really good for a beginner because you, you just can't really make turns on those things. So um, I suspect that the trucks that come on this board are something like some 44 degree trucks. I swapped them out for some really nice 50 degree Paris trucks, which um, you know, these are pretty much the standard trucks that you want. These, these are um, not high end trucks, but these are nice trucks here. Uh, the standard trucks that come on this board, um, I tried everything to make them work as it was. Uh, I changed the bushings. I'd loosen the nut all the way. They, they just, they weren't doing it for me. So I changed those out. So overall, uh, my favorite thing about this board is actually how low it is. Um, when you have a board that's real low to the ground like this, it actually uh, decreases your pushing effort because basically the lower your foot is to the ground, um, instead of pushing yourself up and down, you could take more of that energy and pushing yourself forward. So I really, really like this board and um, I don't really see myself uh, getting any upgrades 
uh, from here. I, I just, I really enjoy this board. The deck is wide, it's got good foot placement. It's got um, a good concave going across there. It's got a nice drop there for your feet. So honestly, the deck, I would say, is a 10 out of 10. Um, the trucks that come on this board, I would give those like a four out of 10. The wheels on this board, I can't really say because I never really rode them. But um, even though I did do modifications to this board, uh, so that it's kind of up to the standards of what you would call a premium board at this point, um, I could have just left this thing alone as it came out of the box. And I would have probably had just as much fun, minus the ability of this thing uh, to not be able to turn. If I had to spend $250, $300 for a board out of the box just to get into this sport. I probably actually would never have done it So I have less than that worth of upgrades on this board now And like I said, I have basically a board that's up to the standards of a premium board and I'm really happy with it So as far as the white wave warrior board goes um, And Amazon boards, I definitely give this board a thumbs up and I would definitely recommend buying this board Next up, we've got the Magneto slot machine. Um, so again, like I said, I bought this board second just because I wanted to know um, basically what I was missing out on. So this is a bamboo board. So this is a uh, very flexy board. Um, it's just for a different riding style. You can do different things on a flexi board. I'm not necessarily the expert that can tell you all the different things about a flexi board. Um, this is not a good board for downhill because you want a stiff board for more control going downhill. But having a flexi board uh, does cushion your ride a little bit, uh, and it's just for different riding styles. I'll just leave it at that. So let's talk about the rideability of this board. Um, honestly, the trucks on this board, I have no idea what the specs of the trucks are on this board or what brand they are. They may not be a brand, but honestly, I really love the trucks on this board. Before I bought the Paris trucks for my other board, um, I was actually considering stealing the trucks off of this board and putting them on the other board. The only reason I didn't do that is because this board was such a nice board to ride, then this board wouldn't have trucks. So I really, really like the trucks that come on this board. Uh, the wheels that come on this board are also very nice. I uh, don't need to change those at all. The bearings are decent. Uh, they could be better, but honestly, there's nothing really to complain about. Uh, bearings are something that you can always get better until you're spending like $200 on a set of bearings for ceramic bearings. Um, you just don't need to do that, but you can. Um, my complaints about this board is in pictures, this thing looks like a really like super premium, high quality, like, like a really good looking board, and it probably does on video here. But honestly, um, reviews that I read on this board says that uh, when you start riding it, it makes crackling noises, and I experienced that as well. And um, when you're standing on a piece of wood, it's crackling. It's not a good sensation, but the uh, crackling noise is actually coming from the grip tape uh, it's got like a really low quality grip tape on there and it just it doesn't hold up to the uh, to the flex of this board and uh, The grip tape is actually not even laid on here that well Let's see if you can see but it overhangs the edges. It's just not really applied that well um, So that's my biggest gripe uh, It's got two different grip tapes on here There's like a less coarse grip on the middle and that's actually laid down really well but the grip tape that goes around the outside this stuff is eventually gonna come off. It's it's not, it's barely on there. Um, the design on the backside, again, looks really awesome in pictures, but when you see it in real life, it's just like, man, it just, it just doesn't, it doesn't uh, look as good as it looks in pictures. So looks wise, fit and finish, I would give this thing like maybe a six out of 10, but this is a great riding board. Again, straight out of the box, you could take this thing and as long as you don't look at it, I think this board is going to ride as good as any other bamboo board that you could get out there. Uh, it turns really quick. It's a really smooth ride. Like I said, the bearings and wheels, they're ultra comfortable. Um, if you read the description of the Magneto slot machine, they say that this slot down the middle gives it some kind of dual flex properties. Honestly, I think the slot is a gimmick. It looks cool. Um, it doesn't do anything bad, but I don't think it does anything special for the board. So here's a look at the flexibility that you'll get with the Magneto slot machine. It's a pretty flexible board. 
I think as far as bamboo long boards go, I think this is a decent board. And um, I would absolutely recommend buying this. This board is a little bit more expensive. I got it for free just because I had a bunch of Amazon points. Uh, but this board is about $170. Other boards that aren't Amazon boards are things like Sector 9. Um, I've heard people say negative things about, but everyone that I know that has a Sector 9 board really enjoys it. So honestly, I would take the negativity that you hear about Amazon boards with a grain of salt because honestly, uh, these things aren't bad. So that's my review on my two Amazon lawn boards. So even though I don't think my style of writing fits the bamboo board very much, um, I still really enjoy writing both of these guys. And um, yeah, I'm going to stick with them. So if you are thinking about getting yourself an Amazon lawn board, I definitely would give you a thumbs up. Uh, especially if you want to get one of these two models. I highly recommend the White Wave Warrior board. Um, if you don't like the drop deck, they have this thing in all different configurations. Same thing with Magneto. They offer a whole bunch of different things, but honestly, you can't beat the value that you get out of the White Wave board. So that's pretty much it. We'll catch you guys next time.